Hi, welcome back to the Jamesy Tech YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the CompTIA ITF Plus certification and go over my background and my experience taking the exam and if you should take this test in order to get into the IT field and what it goes over and all that cool stuff. So make sure to watch this video to the end to get all the details on the um, uh, CompTIA ITF Plus exam and to see if it's necessary for you in your career path. So the ITF Plus stands for the IT Fundamentals Plus exam. This is a very basic and beginner certification and CompTIA claims that it is a pre-career slash for students who are interested in IT and for college students who may be interested in IT or people who have career changes who are not sure if IT is for them. So this is a certification a lot of people take before they get their first job in IT and I'm going to go over if it's really worth it or if it's not. So it covers a lot of things like setting up computer workstation, understand the functions and types of devices within a computer system, uh, compu basic computer maintenance and support principles, understand principles of software and database development, Configure computers and mobile devices to connect to home networks. And then we have identify security issues affecting the use of computers and networks. So it is a very broad and basic certification. It's almost like the A+, just very, very basic. So you may be wondering why ITF+. So I would advise the ITF+, Plus for people who are either high school students who are interested in technology. So if you've taken like a basic computer science principles class or any computer science class at your high school and you don't have any certifications and you'd like to get into the IT field, I think this is a great starting point. Um, if you're a college student who's taking some basic IT classes, there are some college courses that you're taking like when you first start your IT, uh, I guess, degree that could help you prepare for this test without even taking any of the courses from CompTIA. It's also good for people who have sort of a dry resume who want to get um, acknowledged by employers because the name CompTIA is a very, very well-known uh, industry recognized company and they have all kinds of certifications so the ITF plus is definitely industry recognized for people who get into uh, very entry-level positions um, it's also a very easy exam like there's only 75 questions um, and I think it's around like a 70% to 75% uh, to pass the test um, it's not crazy expensive compared to a lot of other tests. I know the CCNA exam is over $300 and a lot of the CompTIA tests are normally a couple hundred dollars. This one is a little over a hundred. I think it's $150 ish. It could cost less on courses because some people don't even need to take courses to pass this exam because if you're in college and you're taking like uh, introduction to technology, that kind of stuff, that, those classes should cover a lot of the topics covered in this exam. Um, and another reason why you want, might want to take this is, is, like I said, it's industry recognized. So you could get a entry level position, for example, help the help desk technician, maybe network technician, those very, very low level experience. Because once you actually get into the field, experience is way more valuable, way more valuable than certifications. So once you get your foot in the door and get some experience in, the certification pretty much helps you boost that, uh, that chance of you getting hired. And yeah, so pretty much my background on this I'm a high school student um, in the Cisco Networking Academy at my high school. Um, I'm taking my certifi uh, CCNA certification test in May. And I wanted to take this test because, one, I wanted a certification to help, like I said, boost my resume because my resume was pretty dry. I had uh, no experience in technology uh, on my resume. This exam is helpful. And I honestly studied only two weeks before I took the exam. I watched YouTube videos and I took a ton of practice tests. That's probably my biggest advice right there, even for any certification, to find those free practice tests online and abuse those like, like crazy. If you just pass all these practice tests that are similar to the actual exam, they help you prepare and get in the mindset for taking the test. And actually getting this certification helped me get noticed by a lot of employers. I got noticed by a couple employers by just applying to random jobs and it could more than likely help you, especially if you're in college or late high school, this could help you land an easy uh, entry level position. Now you may be wondering ITF plus versus A plus. So I believe if you want to get the A plus exam, you don't necessarily need to take this exam. This, this exam is more so for people in high school or early college. Even in early college, you could probably pass the A-plus exam. So it's really for people who want to get just an easy step up in uh, the technology field and have just a little way to get your foot in the door. Because a lot of people take the ITF-plus, then take their A-plus. But there's a lot of people who take the A-plus without taking the ITF-plus who have a lot of success with that. So I believe 
if you have a lot of experience in technology without any certifications, the A plus may be for you. But if you are someone who's new to technology and want to cover the basic fundamentals, this exam would definitely be for you. If you're someone who has a little bit of experience already working in the industry, I believe the A plus would more than likely be for you. But if you don't have any job experience in the IT field, and you also are new to technology, I think that the ITF Plus would be a perfect opportunity for you. So in conclusion, ITF Plus isn't really necessary for everybody, but if you believe it is, then take it. I think it's a very uh, standard basic level certification that a lot of people could pass without much studying. I do recommend you take a lot of practice tests and preparation before you actually go into the test. I took mine online and got it done real quick and had no issue. Um, another thing that looks good on your resume, regardless if you don't have anything on, if you don't have anything on your resume, it looks good regardless, and it's a relatively easy exam to pass. So I think all in all, if you pass the exam, it's an all around plus. If you are unsure that you're gonna pass the A plus exam, or if you even wanna take the A plus exam, I think the ITF plus exam would be a great certification to look into if you're wanting to get into technology and once you get in your foot in the door that's when you start flying that's why you start flying up the ranks so hopefully this video helped you out uh, understand the IT, ITF plus exam a little more and also helped you understand if it's a necessary exam or not so thank you for watching this video uh, comment down below if this helped you out because I'm new to doing these types of videos and I would like some advice to help make these videos better and comment down below if there's anything else you'd want me to cover. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm Jamesy e. Tech and I'll see you guys next time.